Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I kind of just wanted to talk about some 2023 trend predictions that I think are gonna be trending this year. I'm a little late to the game, but we're here now, so that's all that matters. And don't say anything about my hair because I'm trying to stop straightening it so it is very dead and fuzzy and frizzy. But, um, yeah. Anyways, I have my notebook here and all my trends are written down in it. So, I figured we better get started because there is 20 of them. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining every single one because if I did, we'd be here forever. And I'm not trying to do that and neither are you. So, let's get into it because I'm very excited about this. I also wanted to say before I started that I feel like I'm just now getting into fashion and like starting to be able to appreciate it for what it really is and also be able to see the different subsections of it and like the difference between like runway and what people are actually wearing and how trends can translate and sort of filter down into like mainstream and all of that fun stuff. So anyways, with that being said, let's get into the video. So the first trend I think that's gonna be trending this year is camo pants. And we've already been starting to see people wear them. I know Kylie Jenner just wore them on her like Aspen trip or something um, a few weeks ago. And I really think it'll be coming back in sort of a straight leg cargo or trouser type pant, not like the cinched, um, what are those called? Jogger sort of pants that we saw in like 2016 because that was not cute. Moving into the next trend, I think capris will be back as well and sort of like cropped pants. Inevitably being that the 2000s are retrending, capris will be coming back and I think the more that 2000s trends sort of pop back up in um, today's fashion, the more we're gonna like get into the deeper trends that at the beginning of the revival of 2000s, we were like, we will never do that. I'm kind of excited to see how capris and crop pants will be worn. We've already, once again, kind of seen them. Um, and I don't know if I personally will be doing this just because I feel like my whole life has been cropped or capri pants because I'm taller. So it's so hard to find pants that are like, even gonna touch my ankle, let alone be like baggy or oversized. So I don't know if I will personally be participating in this trend, but I still think it's going to be something trending. The next thing that I think is going to be trending is roses and flower appliques. We kind of saw it last fall. I think the people to really light the match for this trend is Fancy Club. We saw that a lot last summer and like into this fall too, I guess. Um, I personally kind of like based my homecoming look around Fancy Club. And I did like this pink rosette flower applique that I made and it had like flounce um, and it was really pretty and I made it myself so that was fun. But I'll put a picture here and I think we're not going to see that go away and I also think we'll be seeing more realistic flowers like almost like faux flowers or things on clothing and items and bags. I think the most prevalent place we're going to see it is on shoes. Um, which kind of, once again, leads me into my next trend prediction, which is pointed toe shoes and like pointed toe kitten heels, especially once again, very big trend for this past fall and winter. I think the thing that's going to be a little bit different with like this spring and summer than this past fall and winter is going to be just more colors and like designs and sort of like different textures and things like that when it comes to the heels. There's a lot of secondhand point to toe heels that are very affordable and like if they're just a website away, like really if you just go to Depop or like even eBay or Poshmark, you can find some really good like vintage kitten heels. And I think that they're just gonna be a really big staple for the upcoming year. This kind of adds on to the whole capris, but I think really long, almost like board short length shorts will be trending, especially this summer. We kind of saw them last summer, but everybody was kind of like, or at least most people were kind of like, oh, this is kind of ugly, like, I don't know. But I think 
now that we've had people take like the brave step to at least put them on um we're going to see people become more comfortable and therefore wear them themselves and turn it into a trend i actually think i might participate in this trend because i think this with like either a good pair of like sneakers or trainers or this with like even boots is going to be a bit very big thing i also think this type of long short button like denim material is going to be a big thing um and i also think we'll be seeing a lot of those long jeans and like that green acid wash that we've been seeing in jeans a lot i want to try it out and like experiment with it and put like a pair of boots with these really long shorts and like a top and just have that i feel like it's going to be like one of the main silhouettes for the summer inevitably the next thing i think that's going to come back is the 1980s now let me explain because i think the reason this is going to come back and i only think it's going to come back like mildly but i think it is going to have a revival because the 2000s kind of incorporated the 80s a little bit with like the really colorful makeup and wild prints and like fringe and like asymmetrical and flounce and like just fun textures and colors. Um, I think because 2000s is trending so much, we're going to be bringing that back up. And I think we'll be bringing it back in a way where it's like more peplums or structured silhouettes or like billowing silhouettes, if that makes sense. And I also think scrunchies are gonna be back, but not in the way that they were like a few years ago where they were just like regular old scrunchies. I think they're going to be very big slouchy scrunchies that you put in your hair. We're not wearing them on our wrist. Like I think they're gonna be just a big thing where they're like uberly like flowy and like pleated and like I don't know how to really explain it but I think that that's kind of what's gonna be the new revival of the scrunchie. And I also think billing silhouettes we've been seeing for a long time, whether that's in dresses or sleeves. And I think that that's gonna come back around a little bit. Um, I know they're kind of like under scrutiny right now and for good reason, but like, for example, the green satin Balenciaga dress that um, I know a few celebrities have worn. I think like that's a good example of it. Um, and I just think really peplums is what it's gonna be. There's a lot of peplum tops. I personally don't think I'll be participating in this trend either because I don't really like like the idea of two tops on myself or anything like that. But uh, I still think a lot of other people will be definitely doing it. The next thing I think I've literally been hearing about this coming back ever since like early last fall, but that's large belts and large belt buckles and just like wide belts. And I think that that's definitely a thing, especially if you're wearing a super monochrome outfit and you can just throw on a belt that kind of cinches it all together and adds a little pop of color or something interesting. And I think we'll be seeing them in every different way, whether they're colors or plain black or silver or gold hardware or all material or leather or whatever. I think we'll just be seeing them in general. The next thing that I think will be trending and hear me out because I feel like some people were very hesitant about this, are square framed glasses. And not like the little tiny ones we saw in like 2017 and like the colored tiny square frame ones. I'm talking like the really 2000s like square framed glasses. I know Bella Hadid is a big participant in this and I've been seeing them a little bit online and I just think they're going to kind of come back and I don't think they're gonna be like a huge trend, but I think that they'll be kind of an underlying trend where like a good amount of people wear them. I don't know once again if I'll do this just because I don't think I've really had the chance to try on square frame glasses and I'm very funny about how glasses are on my face because if I don't even slightly like them, I'm not gonna wear them. So I'll just have to try them out and see. Maybe I'll end up liking them, maybe I won't. The next thing that I think we'll be seeing and this is more for like my Matilda Jerf, sort of like coastal, laid back, chic, old money type girls, um, is thick cuffed pants. What I mean by that is like with revival of 
once again, 2014 and 2013 and like the Tumblr era is slowly coming back around. Um, I think instead of having those ruled very low, like just rolled up cuff jeans, we'll be seeing like a wider cuff. This is a very easy trend to participate in simply because all you have to have is a pair of baggy trousers or baggy jeans or anything like that. You just roll them up once. And I think instead of rolling them twice where it's like that very tucked in, like perfect little uh, cuff, it's going to be more like the raw hem will be showing you just flip it up and that's it. The next thing, and I feel like once again, everybody's been talking about this since like last summer even, is big bags or like slouchy bags. I love this trend. I think it's gonna be fun to see because I think we'll see inevitably because the 2000s are back, some elements of boho chic coming back in. Um, and I think that means, you know, big slouchy bags. I personally have one that's green. Actually, let me grab it. I have this green leather one and I kind of love it. I haven't worn it a lot, but I think it's a great bag to wear if like I need a pop of color or something. The next thing that I think is going to be trending this year is metallics and especially silver. I'm kind of excited for this because I've always worn silver jewelry. It's just something that I wear. I prefer it over gold. I mean, I'll wear gold, but I like silver a lot more. Um, and I think we're kind of already seeing this and it's kind of trending already, especially because we just had New Year's. But I think a lot of these metallics are gonna be coming back in like shoes and bags and pants and makeup. I think makeup's gonna be a big contender when it comes to metallics trending. Um, we've been seeing a lot of like silvery eyeshadow once again because New Year's is just happening, but I think we'll continue to see it as like a nighttime look and I'm really excited for it because I love silver. The next thing that I think is gonna really take off in 2023 are chokers. I think this kind of filters back to flower appliques and I think we're gonna be seeing a lot of flower appliques on chokers. I think we'll be seeing a lot of like lacy paracord chokers and this once again is a very very easy trend to do because it's a good trend to hop on now before it really is a big thing um, because they're so easy to get and you can even just go to your craft store and get like a piece of paracord and just use it as a choker and I think it's going to be a very big thing um, for the year. Next thing that I think is going to be trending is stretchy fabric headbands. I think we'll see it a lot with just like holding the hair back and like having the hair fall over. The next thing that I am really excited for and I arguably think that it's already starting is off the shoulder. Um, I personally have uh, one off the shoulder it's just black and I kind of DIY'd it because I found one at the thrift store but the opening at the top was a little too wide so I cut a piece of fabric from the bottom of it um, and kind of like tied it to make it like a bow on the side. I think we'll be seeing it a lot once again, because it's so accessible and literally you can just thrift a long sleeve that you're like, oh, I really like this and just cut the top off of it. And there you go, you have an off the shoulder um, top. The next trend that I think we'll be seeing is dresses over pants. But let me explain because I'm not talking the 2000s like Disney Channel kid dress over pants. I'm talking like more of a blended silhouette where it's almost like a kind of like matching thing where it just all blends together and I think we'll be seeing that come back and I'm personally kind of excited for it because I might end up trying it out but I don't know so we'll just have to see but I think that it will be something that catches on um in this year. The next thing that I think is going to be trending is the color turquoise. Now, I don't actually have anything to back this up. I just have a feeling, I don't know, I could be completely wrong, but I feel like turquoise is really gonna catch on. Once again, because boho chic's coming back, I don't think we'll be seeing it in like a tacky jewelry sort of way where it was like the really long pendant things with like turquoise in them or anything like that. But I think we'll be seeing 
turquoise like in bags. I know Fendi just did a collaboration with Tiffany's. So that's like something I think we're gonna see. And like turquoise tops. I just think turquoise is gonna be a big color, especially for this summer. Um, and yeah, I'm excited for it because I used to kind of hate turquoise, but it's starting to grow on me. And I feel like a lot of other people feel that way. So I feel like it's just gonna catch on eventually. The next trend that I see coming in 2023 isn't really a trend because it's a person. But that person is Enya Umanzer. She's been around since Vine. So it's not like she's some up and coming influencer or anything. She's already had successes in her career when it comes to social media um, and collaborations. But I just think her whole aesthetic and vibe, I've been seeing a lot on my For You page that could just be because it's curated for me. Um, but I'm very pro this trend and I just think it's more her style that's gonna be trending. But I also think as a result of this, she's going to blow up. This is me editing and I just wanted to kind of interrupt the video to say that I feel like it didn't describe what her style is and I just kind of glossed over that. But basically, if you don't know, her style, at least I would describe it as a little bit like feminine and whimsical and then there's a few trends mixed in but they're very like close to her personal style and i don't think she jumps out of her personal style a lot which i think is a good thing because you can definitely work trends into your personal style and i think that's kind of how everybody should do it but um and i would say she's very whimsical and feminine and she kind of follows a coquette sort of aesthetic but then at the same time, she adds her own little, like, twist to it that makes it a little bit more fun and less, like, stuck in an aesthetic, um, which I think is really cool. And she uses a lot of fun brands and a lot of fun prints and colors and just little details that really spice up an outfit. And I just love that about her. And the way that I think I could sum it up in a few words would be it's, like, feminine with a little bit of spice she's literally like just a girly girl with a little bit of spice like that's what she is and I love everything about her so I'm really excited to see where her fashion career takes her the next to the last trend is probably the most controversial one that I'm going to say in this whole video because I think a lot of people have a set vision of it in their mind and I don't think it's going to come back in that way and that is the side part. Now hear me out, I've said this so many times in this video but just hear me out, listen to me because I think it's going to catch on if not this year or towards the end of this year, next year for sure. I think it's going to come back in I would argue like three ways and I don't think it's going to be side part where you wear it every single day, it's a side part. Like your part is your side, like it's a side part constantly. I don't think that's gonna be, I think it's gonna be more of like a special occasion or like you're feeling fancy or something like that. But I think the three ways it's going to be trending or styled is either like a really big, like 90s inspired, like blowout sort of like really floofy, like just very voluminous, Hair. The second way it's going to be coming back is the total opposite and that's like a slight side part that's like kind of flat ironed and like a little bit curled toward the face, um, very 2000s. I think the third way we'll see it is a rough side part but it'll be very sleek down and not like, I think, I don't know how to really explain this but I think it's going to be like more of like a, like that and then like sleek down and either sleek to where it's like a half up half down or sleeks into a bun or something like that but i don't think it's gonna be like 2017 like really harsh side part where it's just like you know i don't think we're gonna see that i'm kind of excited for this trend because i think now that my hair has grown out a little bit um i've been playing around with like different hairstyles and stuff and i don't know i might go crazy and Style and do this one time because I just think it's something fun and different that we don't see a lot anymore. The final trend for 2023 that I think 
will really catch on in the summer more than like spring, but that is Abercrombie. And I think it started to trend last summer, but then after that documentary came out, that's what kind of like halted the trend completely. But I think we'll see it come back once again and kind of have its second try. And I think because so many trends are being brought back that aren't being bought straight off the rack where it's being either made um, by a person or it's like secondhand bought um, or like thrifted, I think we'll be seeing it come back, especially like the 2000s Abercrombie. I'm not talking like new Abercrombie because I know they still make clothes, but I'm talking more like the Abercrombie hoodies or like Abercrombie like shorts or like Abercrombie like t-shirts. And I think there's certain styles of the 2000 Abercrombie that's not gonna come back, but I think there's a lot of it that might and might catch on because it aligns to some of the things that are trending. And those are my 20 trend predictions for 2023. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I don't know if I will be right about all of these trends, but I hope I am because some of these are just like a thousand percent. I would bet money on that they come back because A, we've either already been seeing them or B, they just are kind of like the next thing over for what's been trending. Um, and then some of them are just things that I'm kind of like hoping end up trending. But I hope you enjoyed and just remember, wear whatever you want. None of this matters. Trends are just trends. I also kind of wanted to go on like a PSA or a rant at the end of this video and kind of explain just briefly how like I think trends, especially last year and 2020, were so fast and like it felt like every three weeks there was new trends and it was like you either bought it then or you didn't because it was so trendy and fast fashion-y that like it was just then or never. And I think we're stopping that and I think we're finally like slowing down the trend cycle where we see things trend and trends actually overlap. And it's not like a, this is trending and this is trending and this is trending and this is trending all in a row, but they're never trending at the same time. And I think that that is happening mainly because a lot of people are realizing a fast fashion is awful for the environment and awful for human rights. And it's very trendy. It's just overly trendy to the point where it's not even fun after three weeks and you don't even actually like it. You're just doing it because your favorite influencer is wearing it. Um, and I think we've all fell victim to that in one way or another. Um, but I think we'll be seeing a lot less of that because trends are going to be interpreted per individual. And I think different styles and colors of specific things are going to vary a lot because it's going to be very like individual. And I also think because there's so many people that buy secondhand, there's not going to be a lot of duplicate pieces, um, which I love because it makes people have to actually find their personal style. and make people have to actually sift through websites or bins or racks or whatever to find a piece that they like and not just click a link in someone's bio and hit the add to cart and hit the purchase and it's in their house in three to five days. You know what I mean? I think it'll also allow people to buy and keep using pieces, um, which kind of bleeds into the whole idea of like buy for like quality and not quantity and buy for you know your style and not somebody else's but that's a whole other thing and i can literally rant about that for like hours but yeah thank you guys for watching um i hope you enjoyed and let me know if you guys think any of these trends are not going to catch on or won't trend at all and what trends you guys kind of agree with or even trends that i didn't mention that you think will be trending but yeah, thank you guys for watching and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos by me. Um, 
and hit that post notification and give it a like and do all that if you would really want to because I'm going to be making more fashion centered videos I think um, I'll still do some like fun vlogs and concept videos and stuff but I think I want to do more fashion centered content just because that's such a big passion of mine um, right now and I don't think it's going anywhere for me so yeah stick around if you like more fashion sort of videos and I will also be still doing vlogs but yeah thank you anyways because I'm just rambling now so thank you guys for watching um and I'll see you in the next video bye